Question three then from the 2016 Advanced Air Maths. There we go, the binomial expansion question. Five marks. And at least it's find the general term and then a specific one. Not that big plod through writing them all out. You can see it wouldn't be with a power 13 anyway. Although it does say hence or otherwise. So, write down the general term. Depends what you want to call the general term. I prefer to put the wee summation thing down for the actual expansion itself. Hey, I'm going to do that. Because the general term goes in here. So that would be going from r equals 0 to 13 of the binomial coefficient, which will be 13r. And then the two terms, the binomial part and a negative 2. Now, this is the one, because you can look at it either way around, but usually take the second one is the one that's going to climb up, and the first one is the one that's going to drop down from the 13. So that means that expansion is equal to this. I know you just need to read that, write this part of it. Now, separate out the parts. Get the coefficients to the front, and then the x's to themselves. So there's a 3. That 3 will be to the power 13 minus r. There's a negative 2. That'll be to the power r. And then the bit that you want, there's the x, and it's made up of two parts. That will be a negative power. So I'll say the negative of 13 minus r. And then this will add on to it, since it's multiplying, plus r. It's still not simplified. I know you'll be laughing at me writing down this summation sign all the time when it wasn't actually necessary. I just do it for completeness. 13 minus r, can't simplify that. Negative 2 to the r. You could simplify that by taking out a negative 1 as its own wee sign flipper, but I don't think that simplifies it. But this needs simplifying. So that means you've got a negative 13, but that's a plus r plus r, so it's 2r minus 13. So there's my expansion. Now I just use it. We're looking for a term in x to the 9. If it's x to the 9, that means that 2r minus 13 has to equal 9. So 2r would have to equal 22. So r equals 11. So popping that in means the term required will be 13, 11. 3 to the power 13 minus 11, which is 2. Negative 2 to the power 11 they add up to 13, and of course, x to the power 9. I usually like to just work them out, but those numbers are going to be so big, aren't they? You've got 13, 11, and start it off, I suppose. You've got 13, 11, which you could work out as, I know it's a calculator. It's the same as 13, 2, so the first two parts over 2 times 1. 3 squared, I could pop that straight in as 9. An odd power, so it's definitely negative. 2 to the power 11. We always remember 2 to the power 10, because it's like the 1,000, it's the 1,024. So that's 2,048. x to the 9, but I'm just going to give in now and use my calculator to work that lot out. So it's 13 times 6 times 9 times 2048, which comes to negative 1437696 x to the power 9.